I'd like you to think back to your senior year in high school. Do you remember being really sensitive to all the last times? The last big game, the last show you were in, the last summer night before you and your friends all went your separate ways? Well, it was my son Ben's last marching band game of the season, his senior year in high school, and he asked me to come take pictures, which is a great job for me. I love photography. I love my son. I want to do this perfectly. So it is the day of the game, and I am driving into the stadium, and I can hear the cadence of the band, and it's coming around the track. I throw my heels in the back of my truck. I go running down the grassy field around the concession stand. I can smell the air. It's filled with the scent of fall leaves and nacho cheese. And I set up my tripod right at the 50-yard line. Big telephoto lens, and I start taking pictures. Now, I have got to tell you, I get some great ones. I get a picture of his reflection in the mellophone and the rest of the band. I get this picture of this tiny little piccolo player he had a crush on and my big Ben marching in front of one another and they gave each other the sweetest little look and I zoomed right in. So I go home and I upload everything to my computer and I start doing my magic. And by magic, I mean I put it into a PowerPoint presentation and I waited for Ben to come home. So Ben walks in the door from the Double T Diner after going out with his friends and I say, oh, Ben, you are going to love these. Great, Mom. All right, how about this one? Yeah, that one's good. All right, Ben, this. Mom, did you get a picture of the guitar? Benjamin, you play mellophone. No, in the last 16 measures, the entire band marches into a formation of giant electric guitar. Did you get a picture of that? Nope. I had completely missed the big picture. Has that ever happened to you? You're working hard. Your team is working hard. You want to do a good job. There is not a motivation problem. And yet, somehow, you're not focused on what matters most. If Ben had said to me, Mom, the most important thing, whatever you do, get a picture of that guitar, I certainly wouldn't have been down at the 50-yard line, would I? I would have been up in the stands doing a panoramic. When it comes to accomplishing what's most important, one good conversation about expectations can prevent 14 wide-inja conversations.